Never have cars advanced as rapidly as they do today, which is a nice way of saying you should probably put some duct tape over that cassette deck. I'm Brian Cooley with the top five things that are next in line to make your car look like one Eisenhower drove. You don't know who he is, do you? Number five, the test drive. Not exactly a technology, but a time-honored technique for deciding if you want a particular car. But a recent survey by IBM found 21% of recent new car buyers, or lessees, never actually drove the car they bought before they bought it. I think by the time they did all that internet research, they were probably sick of the thing. Number four, gauges. You know, those things that look like that watch you don't wear anymore? From top dollar Land Rovers and Jags to a humble Chevy Spark EV, LCD screens are taking over, giving car makers real flexibility and information display. I applaud the trend, but not necessarily my prospects when that whole module dies at once. Number three, rear seat entertainment. You know, those back seat DVD systems. They were never technically elegant, and they were always too much money. Plus, your kids were always bored with that handful of scratched up DVDs that are wedged in the seat back pocket. Now they just have their iPad, and you just saved a couple grand, which you'll spend on data fees for their iPad. Number two, iPod connectors. Cars used to have an iPod connector for the cool kids and an aux jack for the losers. Things have changed. Now it's all USB ports that work with all kinds of portables, and car makers don't have to care what connector Apple just changed to. The number one thing that is going obsolete in cars, and fast, is the CD player. Never mind that it's the best sounding source ever put into a car. We don't seem to care. Like a cougar bar around midnight, it's all about choice, not fidelity. So now it's streaming apps, MP3s on portables, satellite radio, that's what rules the dash. Ford's already done away with all their multi-CD changers, and the 2013 Chevy Sonic was, I think, the first car to not even offer a CD at all, no matter how you configure it. To be on top of all the new technologies that are coming and going from cars these days, follow our show at CNETOnCars.com and all of our reviews at Cars.CNET.com. I'm Brian Cooley. Thanks for watching.